What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys uh, this Friday. I'm actually going out of town this weekend for a Young Life uh, fall weekend uh, camp thing. It's going to be awesome in Charlotte. Uh, if you're going in Charlotte, uh, it's going to be at Camp Thunderbird. That's going to be awesome. Uh, definitely look for me because I will be there. Um, if you guys have ever heard of Young Life at your school or anything like that, for those of you who are still in high school, definitely go check it out with your friends. It's a lot of fun. I'm a leader and we do so much fun stuff, but um, we'll go ahead and jump into this video. So I'm doing a Town Hall 9 base build. Now, obviously I don't have a Town Hall 9 account, but I have built one over here on <coughs> ClashOfClansBuilder.com because a bunch of you guys have requested one. Uh, this is the dollar sign base or the money base. You can see uh, if you follow these walls all the way around, it looks kind of like a dollar sign. You can see where my hands are going. Um, and then it has this little line right here that goes through it. So it's pretty awesome. Oh, that's what I did wrong. Uh, this one right here, remove. <laughs> I knew I, I was looking at it and I was like, where is that other wall at? Uh, so we're gonna put that right there. <clears throat> okay, so here's the base design. This is a money base design. Uh, obviously, since I have a Town Hall 10, there are gonna be some things that are not gonna be put in, like infernos and things of that sort, but this is the money farming base, because if you're farming, you want that money, you wanna protect that money. So let's go ahead and jump into this, guys. Um, so y'all have, Two expos. I have three. Uh, I'm not. I'm not bragging or rubbing it in. I miss Town Hall Nine, honestly. <laughs> Town Hall Nine was awesome. Uh, so we're gonna put those expos in there. Uh, we're gonna bring in some of our gold, uh, just like that. We're gonna bring in an elixir storage, and we are going to bring in a uh, our dark elixir, and then we are also going to bring in our. Where is my? Uh, here it is. Bring our clan castle, all right? So there's the core for us. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be able to show you all defensive replays or anything like that, so you're just going to have to try it out if you want to. Um, but I think that it's going to work really well at kiting uh, troops around the outside and, and whatnot. So um, there's a the center core right there. Now we're going to bring in my favorite defenses. What are they, guys? Comment down below. Right, the wizard tower or splash defense. If you said splash defense, that counts too. Um, so the mortars and the wizards are easily my favorite uh, defenses in the game. I'm sorry, I woke up with kind of a cold. It's cold in my house right now. Um, I've got a blanket on my lap. <laughs> so there's the mortar. There's one mortar and one wizard. Um, now we're going to just work our way over to the other mortars and wizards. So we've got a wizard tower right here and we've got a mortar right here. Then we're going to work up to this corner. We've got a wizard tower right here and a mortar right here. And then we've got a uh, mortar right here and a wizard tower right there. So you can see they're all squared around the base, uh, covering the entire thing. Uh, so the whole base is covered by mortars. Um, and practically the whole base is covered by wizards as well, or at least all of the resources are, which is what we want, because we don't want groups of archers, groups of barbarians, groups of goblins, um, groups of minions even attacking our resources. So that's why we want wizard towers right next to them so that they can just annihilate it. Um, let's go ahead and bring in the rest of our resources. So there's gold right there. Here's another elixir storage. We're going to put one elixir storage right here because we have an extra one. Um, we are going to put uh, another elixir storage right there. And then now we're going to bring in our heroes. We're going to put our queen right over here and our king right over there. All right, so there's pretty much the core of the base. It's looking pretty good right now. Um, we're gonna bring in, no, that's the level four. No, well, it doesn't really matter since this is just for uh, showing you guys stuff, but we're actually going to screw that out some and we're gonna put our uh, air defense right in here. And then we're actually gonna move this out as well and bring in our air defense right here. Now we're gonna bring in some archer towers right here on the corners to help protect the air defense. You want air defenses to protect air defenses. Um, because if one air defense goes down, then you're in trouble. So you need something that can shoot air troops next to something else that can shoot air troops. If that makes sense. Um, then we'll bring in our cannons right here on the corners. And we're just going to work our way around. This area is going to be really cool. Uh, it's going to be a trap area. So we're going to fling them first. And then we're going to explode them. All right. So you want to have the traps so they get flung off. Uh, and then they take damage. You don't want them to take half damage and then fling off a half damaged troop because then that's kind of pointless. You know what I mean? Um, you definitely want to make sure to get rid of them and then damage whatever is left behind. 
Uh, so now we'll go ahead and bring in another archer tower and another cannon right there to help protect that wizard tower and that mortar. Um, and then this little area is going to be cool. The reason that I built it out like this is if somebody drops wall breakers over here, they're going to hit right here and they're going to damage these. And then they're not going to get into where the archer tower and cannon are. So um, that's going to waste a wall breaker or two. Um, on those corners right there, and then we're going to throw in another uh, giant bomb right up in here And then I think that I do yep So then I have another trap right here, which is going to be great and let's go ahead and bring in our uh, Tesla right there and then another archer tower right here and Keep on working our way around air defense in the corner and then a cannon right here So again, there's that archer tower and that Tesla protecting that air defense um, so that's good that those are there. Now we'll go ahead and bring in our other Tesla right here, and then this little guy, we'll just bring in a random storage uh, right there. So that Tesla's in there protected by that, um, by that uh, elixir pump. Now we're going to keep on working our way around again with this trap section, guys, uh, on the other side where the cannon is. One and one. Get in there. <laughs> and then giant bomb right here. And then just continue working our way around we're going to throw in another dark elixir drill right there and then our other archer tower right here and then same as the other side guys you know me I love symmetrical bases we're going to uh, throw this in like that and uh, you know what you could if you get attacked by people with a lot of goblins you could put barracks in there instead of those gold mines so that the goblins don't work as wall breakers because I used to use goblins a lot as wall breakers where they would just tear through a wall really, really quick trying to get to um, whatever resource you had there. So we're going to bring in our last uh, little set of defenses over here. Uh, where's that other cannon? Bring in this other cannon. And again, I am going to have extra uh, stuff. So there's that. And then this last Tesla is going right here. And then we're going to bring this in again. Scoot it down though, you want to make sure it's touching the Tesla, otherwise there's going to be a gap there where people can spawn stuff. And then that's it guys, so there it, there it is. There it is, we've got all this extra stuff over here. Um, you can put air traps and whatnot. I'm not sure how many there are at Town Hall 9, let me see here. So we've got four of those, so you can do one, two, you can just put these uh, air mines all next to the Teslas if you want to. I have an extra one at Town Hall 10. Uh, and then we've got four right here, so you can go ahead and bring them right there. One right there next to that bomb, one right here next to this bomb, one right here next to this bomb, and then one right here next to this bomb. And then just spread in your mini bombs. Uh, looks like we've got six of them. Yeah, so that stays the same. You can do one, two right here. Um, you can bring in another one right here just to do some extra damage. You can bring in one right here. You can bring in one right here. And let's go ahead and just throw one right here as well. So again, that's up to you guys where you want to put those. Why do I have an extra spring trap? Oh yeah. This is not going to go here. A spring trap is going to go here. And this is going to go right there. So there it is, guys. I hope that you all are excited about this Town Hall 9 base. I haven't built a Town Hall 9 base in months. I miss it. I love Town Hall 9. But there it is for you guys. Definitely check it out. Make sure you go back, screenshot that thing in the beginning. Um, and yeah, guys, also, if y'all are interested in a new way to get free gems, check out below in the description. It's called Cash for Apps. Better by far than any of the other apps. There's a video in it where I explain why it's better. So if you don't believe me, watch the video. It'll show you how much better it is. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And as always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on for me, all right? Peace.